Hello everyone, welcome back to my second tutorial on how to create a Discord bot using discord.py. So in the last video, we set up our bot account, and we got started with some basic code. We invited our bot to our server, we got our token, we did our uh, on ready function right here, and we also did our on message function right here and created our uh, basic ping command. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with our commands, and I'm going to, uh, we're going to do some slight upgrades to the uh, ping command. And we're also going to add some more commands. So we're also, we're going to learn how to do uh, things like user specific commands and uh, how to add a help command with uh, Discord embeds. So to get started, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a user specific command. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable with our um, user ID. And in order to do that, we need to open up Discord. We need to go on our profile, right click on our profile and click copy ID. Go back to our IDE and we're gonna say owner underscore ID equals, and then paste that in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna create a, another command. So we're gonna, we're gonna have our indent there, so it's inside of our on message function. We're going to say if message dot content dot oops dot starts with, and we're going to say exclamation point test for this example, and then we're going to create another if statement. So we're going to say if message dot author dot id two equal signs this time owner underscore id. So what we're doing here is we're saying um, if a message starts with exclamation point test and if that uh, the person who sent the message is the owner of uh, the bot, then it will await message.channel and then we can say test. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say else message.channel.send and we're going to say you do not have permission to use this command. So what this is doing is um, when somebody says test, it's going to check if that, uh, that person that sent the message, it's going to check if their ID matches this variable. And if it does, it's going to respond with the message test. Otherwise, if the if it does not match this variable, it's going to send the message, you do not have permission to use this command. So we're going to run this. Bot is ready. So if we go into our server now, uh, we should be able to say exclamation point test, and it says test. But if we have a one of my friends here, um, say test, it'll say you do not have permission to use this command. Um, so, oops, I did not mean to do that. Just close this. Um, so that's uh, the basic of user specific commands. You can do these things for like um, admin commands, things like that. Um, so yeah, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create some spaces here is I'm going to create, we're going to create our uh, help message or our help command. So this is used for if somebody is using your bot and they've never used it before, they don't know how it works, they can type help and it'll show the person a list of all the possible commands that they can enter and all of the things that this bot is capable of. So we're gonna say if message.content starts with, say exclamation point help, now we're going to say help. This is how we create our embed. We're going to say help equals discord dot embed. We're going to say parentheses title equals help. And then we're going to say comma description equals. And then we can say something like 
all possible commands for tutorials. And then we can uh, go to our next line here. And now as we are now now we can start adding um, the different lines and the different uh, commands to our help command. So we're going to say help dot add underscore field. And then we're going to uh, parentheses here. We're going to say name equals. So this is going to be the name of our command. So we only have ping and test. So we're just going to enter the ping command and the test command and that's it. So we're going to say ping. We're going to go outside of these parentheses. We're going to type a comma and say value equals and we can say simply responds with palm. And then we are going to go comma, and we're going to say inline equals false. And then we're going to do the same thing for the next line. We're going to say help dot add underscore field. Did I do that wrong? Nope. Help dot add underscore field name equals now the other one is, is test, and then we say comma value equals, and we can say something like a test for user specific commands, comma inline equals false. And now don't forget we have to have our uh, await, so we have to say await uh, await message dot channel dot send and now is where we're gonna we're not gonna do a print or we're not gonna actually send a normal message like we would here we're not gonna have something like this instead we're going to say content I'm gonna say content equals none comma embed equals help we run this, bot is ready, and we can go in and say exclamation point help, and here is our embed. So we know that it worked. We says help all possible commands for tutorial bot ping simply responds with pong test a test for user specific commands. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate this. And so um, the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and upgrade our ping command. So um, we can actually make the bot show its real-time ping. So what that means is um, it'll show how long it takes for the bot, uh, its code, to connect to Discord in milliseconds. So in order to do that, we're going to go to our uh, send thing here. And we're going to go outside of this. We're going to change this real quick. So I'm gonna, oops. I'm going to change this to single quotes real quick. And I'm going to put, we're going to put an F here. And then we're going to say another, we're going to do another parentheses round. And then a, another parentheses say client dot latency. Uh, multiply by 1,000, and then we're going to go outside and then say milliseconds, and then uh, close that there. Oh, I made a mistake here. There we go. So what this is going to do is it's going to respond with Pong, and then it's going to find its latency in milliseconds. Oop, I need another zero right there. And it's going to find its uh, latency in milliseconds and then say Pong and then its latency. So we say run main. So now if we say ping, oops, I have an error. But so we go and run main, stop and rerun. Uh, 
and then we say ping pong 28 milliseconds. So now, um, that was just my careless mistake there. I'm sorry about that. So, um, again, uh, let me just tell you what I, what I messed up there. So instead of putting these curly brackets here, I actually put parentheses. You don't want to do that. You want to have these, uh, you want to have these to be curly brackets. Um, so basically what this does is again, it searches for to see if somebody says ping. And then instead of just responding with only Pong, it'll check its latency from the bot to Discord and then show its latency and Discord. So uh, now what we can do is save this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and terminate that. Make sure our thing is saved. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, if you found this video useful and helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you need any sort of help whatsoever. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.